here's my poor little lantern that's been outside for about seven or eight years. I actually bought this in North Carolina and, at a flea market and it has was outside there and now it's been outside here for three years and this really with the ocean air really does some damage so it needs help really bad so I thought I would help it along and make it pretty again. Okay I took the glass out as you can see and just did a just a base coat on this Okay, you can see this is the glass. I took this out of, I took these pieces out of that lantern and I'm going to paint them with some, I washed them all and rewashed them and washed them again. <laughs> they were so, it was so grubby and gross. So I'm going to see, now one side is like a, uh, what do you call that, S <sighs> frosted? And then the other side isn't. So I don't know what side I should be painting on. I believe this is the side, the frosted side is the side that shows. But um, I'm kind of wondering if I flip this over and paint on this side. I'm going to see if I can, you know, if they're cut evenly, the glass, then I can just put it back in either way. So that's what I'm going to check. And then I think I'll paint on the glossy side. Um... I wish there was a way to take the frost off, but it just, I, I don't know how they do that. I'm sure it's a machine that kind of sandblasts the glass or something. And then I was also thinking of, well, maybe I'll just cut glass and put my own glass in there. But then I thought, what a waste. That, that's a lot of work because then I have to uh, grind it all down and everything. And I thought, this is already done. Um, so I might as well use the glass that I have. I could actually you know, cut pieces and go right over this if I wanted to and put more glass on top. But I think I'm going to use the glass paint and uh, do it that way instead and just make some, you know, just, I don't know, organic design. I don't know. Just designs. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. So I don't want to say because I don't know. So <laughs> I'm going to see how it works first. And then I will probably put on some music. I'm listening to Feely ha Feeling Happy music on YouTube and unfortunately I can't share with you but I think I am going to do a voiceover for the next bunch and just listen to my music okay so I'll see you in the next okay this is what I thought uh, maybe I'll just see that I don't know I'm using the um, side that has the frost on it because I thought these little things are already on here and I didn't want to mess with them, but I don't know if this is even going to show. Can you see that? This this gloss enamel is very, very um, transparent. And I was thinking that I would just make some colors going through here. Nothing, nothing definite like, you know. And then go over it with black. Maybe I need to go over this again. Some of this color. Okay. And um, let me see if that dries if it looks any better when it dries um, so I'm, tr I'm trying to think Oop, can you see that I don't know or maybe I should just paint the whole glass like one color let's just see thinking if I paint it on the inside because this is so frosty you won't see it to 
that's why I'm thinking I'll just paint the frosty part and then do some designs in with the black I put the black uh, I put the black outdoor paint in here actually the patio paint I put in here um, why I don't know but I'm thinking that maybe that will work better for the actual detail okay so see so you, you see all the marks from the brush so I'm gonna definitely have to do another coat so maybe I'll just do each one a different color but I really want I really want um, oh, I've got my computer up here because I was got all kinds of stuff on the desk over there so let me see I don't think that yellow is gonna be dark enough so I'm gonna get some See if I have some purple. I'll be right back. I was having a problem trying to figure out which colors to use, and then I just, you know, had to do double coats. You can see I, I start doing double coats on them and thinking, you know what, I'd rather have the color on the glass than worry about how much light is going to come through when I put a little light in there or a candle. I would much rather have it look pretty even when it's not lit versus, you know, just be real faded colors I don't know if that makes sense but and then here I'm just adding color and doing anything just to you know get color down Okay, so here's two of the pieces of glass um, I've been adding to it. So I'm just going to, what I did was I used some of the glass paint and then I used some of the patio paint on these. So I used both. Now I'm probably going to seal it with the outside, uh, the patio paint sealer. Hopefully that will protect it. But what I'm planning on doing is not actually just leaving it outside like I did before. I'm going to keep it in the house and then take it out in the backyard when my husband uh, finishes building the closed in screened in patio then I'll take it and put it out there so it's not directly in the rain all the time and and the salt air so um, I'm hoping that it won't need that much protection and it'll be nice enough to keep in the house most of the time I'm thinking by the uh, front door uh, and then, you know, just carrying it and taking it out as needed. So that's why I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to use both, seal it, and not worry about it. Just enjoy it. So this is what I've gotten on these two. And then this one, I used, I used, blah, 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 sorry guys, I used the black um, patio paint for this because the glass paint is very nice, but it's, very transparent and I wanted this to really show up so when I finish coloring in that right now I'm gonna I'm probably gonna use the patio paint I think to color in that I don't know but um, I want to add more colors to these so I'm thinking um, some of this citrus green some of this blue Bahama, which I love. I love blue Bahama. Love blue Bahama. Then I have sunshine yellow, which I used here. And I also used um, fuchsia, which I just ordered some more because I love this fuchsia. Put that on there. And then I had done the purple. Um, that was the, I believe, very berry. Yeah, the very berry, which I love. And... Um, then this one I used, uh, let's see, which red did I use on this one? Let's see, I splattered with a little, that was uh, geranium red, and then white, and then that, um, I love this, this is one of my favorite, marigold, marigold yellow on here. So that's what I got in that. And um, so now I'm just going to add more, like I said, just more colors. I got to get, I got to get some palette paper, and um, it's really, this is really 
chunky and a mess down here. But I'm not going to change it because I'm just going to finish up with that and then I have to clean up my whole workspace and get everything all nice and pretty for my next painting that I'm going to do. So, um, oh, that's, let's put that there. So I'm going to add some of this green. I'm going to shake these paints up good. They are so wonderful, really. But, um, okay. Use some of that. Probably going to use, I'm probably going to use the same color, put some of that on there and vice versa. So, just see how that goes. And, this really doesn't have any design. It's just I just made those little swirly things, just kind of you know adding color to it. I didn't really want it to have a specific design, so I'm just going to do that to both. Just keep adding color to both of these panels. Okay, I just wanted to show you this one. It I put some clear, sparkly glitter stuff on here. It's called Starlight Varnish, and it's got uh, sparkles in it. But I want it to be, I think, a little bit more shiny. Um, of course, it's not going to be as shiny as that glass, but I'm thinking maybe I'm going to put it uh, a coating of some kind of resin over it like um, diamond glaze or I don't know um, I had that other one uh, which I cannot find <clears throat> which I will find um, that went over things and worked really well and then there's this varnish from uh, ultra matte varnish from deco art which may be cool too so I may try that but um, yeah, I want it to be a little shinier. Um, this one, um, you know, this one, I hope you can see that. It's kind of like dark. Let's get the light on there. You know, if I put the light on too much, then, it's, and then it gets way too light. And it drowns out the color. So let me just see if I can fix that a little bit kind of drowns the color out but uh, let's see that's better so there you can see that I don't know if you can see the little bit of purple and the, let me just get that out of the way maybe that'll be better it's really hard to adjust the the camera just the way you want it adjusted let's see if that maybe that's better you can see that it's got gold in it and um, probably be better when I take the picture of it but uh, let's see that's too dark I don't know if that that looks better can you see that there's purple and then there's the blue there and then gold dots and I just think it came out really pretty so that's the front door of the lantern and this is one of the sides but I just you know feel the need to shine that one up for some reason it I put it in the lantern and it just was now it sparkles which is pretty but I, I still want a little bit more and on the other one too I'm going to shine it up a little bit okay this one I'm going to use some see this like a it's called very berry purpley color and I'm going to use the metallic paints I think I've got the right one I want. And just 
kind of go in here and define the, the leaves. And again, this is Decor paint. And this one is really a beautiful color. It's called Berry. And it's a metallic. It's one of their dazzling metallics. And the white I used on the other one, the, the one, the blue with the white leaves, is the metallic, the white pearl. So, and that's um, on this one. Okay, I went over and I added the metallic on there, the white and that berry color. And then I went over this one again and added more of the white. And um, looks so pretty. So I think they're nice and shiny. And then I now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the other ones. Um, but I will be back and I uh, think I will... Get them done, put together, and then um, show you. Okay? I'll be back. Okay, you can kind of see the lantern. Um, I did that coat on it, just a base coat, um, spray paint. And now I'm going to start, um, let me move it in a little bit more. Now I'm going to start using the outdoor paint, the patio paint, and painting it. So the glass is drying, and while that's drying, I want to figure out what colors I want to use on this. So I'll be back. You can see I started, uh, I painted it black and white, and I was trying to figure out where to go from there and what I wanted to do to make it really kind of fancy. So I thought with the dark and the light, and then I will add different other colors to it and they'll come out lighter in the lighter part and darker in the darker section and then I thought well you know what I'm gonna take my uh, Inca golds and just smear them on and just have some fun with them and I did I have uh, the four colors I used um, my four colors that I have and um, I have violet gold uh, the blue one and um, also a red one and um, I think it's ruby it's like a rub and buff kind of thing you know and I just smeared it on and then added some gold metallic paint from deco art and just kind of yeah I had some fun with it and just so you could see how it the colors look so different on the darker paint than they do in the light and then I did the doors uh, over with the gold and the ink of gold and I did the inside too so I did everywhere um, that you can see I put smeared the ink of gold on it and then the gold metallic paint from deco art really wanted it to be very bohemian gypsyish and I think by adding all those pretty colors to it it gave gives it that feel okay what I did was I took some wire whoops and wire and I just um, whoops uh, twirled it and made these little scallopy whatever these things are curly cues and now I'm gonna paint them gold uh, because the uh, lantern has so much gold in it it really doesn't have any silver so I am going to do that and um, paint them gold and then hot glue them on. I'm not going to solder them on because, and they are, it's tin copper, but um, I'm not going to start soldering. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to glue them on with hot glue gun. These are fairly easy to make. I just use the, the little pliers here and just, you know, curl them and kind of made them cute and... Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to paint them with the metallic gold from Deco Art. It's called Glorious Gold. 
and I will be back okay okay so now you can see with the glass in and the little curly cues on and um, I'm gonna hang some beads and things from the little hoops there and you can see I hung some beads and some little stars that I went over with the with the ink of gold and rubbed on some pretty colors just like in the rest of it I added onto the stars and just to give it a little extra I mean you can really add whatever uh, but I just wanted it to have that dangling kind of thing you know when you move it you have the dangles I had so many things I was thinking of doing but then I stopped so you know I had to stop at some point I guess but I could just keep going and adding more and more stuff but I like it the way it is and uh, I'm really really enjoyed this project it took a while but I'm really glad I stuck with it I gotta say it looks really pretty in the daytime but at night I just couldn't wait for the nighttime to come so I could stick a candle in there but I'm gonna get one of those lights with the battery kind of thing um, because the candle in it just would make the glass I think get icky but you can't see it as good in person the blue is really blue that um, that teal kind of bluish color and then the red is kind of it's really red and then the the yellowish orange color and the purple and it just really looks dynamite so I'm glad I did each one a different color because whatever side you look at it from it's a different color coming through the glass and I mean I'm not going to say it's a very bright lantern but it is definitely beautiful and definitely sets a mood a very romantic mood with this I think it would be great if I keep it in my bedroom or even outside for a nice romantic dinner uh, by the pool under the trees I mean it just is just so lovely I can't tell you how excited I am I hope you find an old one or you have one hanging around and you can do this to it I have another one that I'm going to start with it's it's a little different more modern looking but I'm gonna make it gypsy-ish too so um, I'll show you that one when I get that done Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I inspired you. And if I did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. I try to get one out at least once a week, um, if I can, twice a week. But I hope you hope you'll come back and visit me and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.